converts and others, they basically have picked up on this too. You understand that one is not to make any sort of, um, you could not comment on a portion of scripture unless you were able, in a sense, to quote the scripture, you understand, properly. In other words, in the age of discipleship from before, you could not make a comment, or at least nobody would listen to your real comment on scripture unless you, in a sense, digested and ate that scripture, which means that you had to either have memorized it, you understand, or or knew the scripture, you understand, like memory, you understand, what, what, however you commit it to your memory, you still got to know, it's interesting, people can remember all the bad and negative things about people, what they think is bad about people, they can keep grudges for years, but they can't even remember two or three verses exactly as the verse is, and then they say, I really believe in God, you understand, but they don't remember, I believe in the Bible, but they can't remember one song. You understand? One psalm. So see, there's a, there's, it's an important thing to memorization. It's not only about memorization, but being like from a child. You understand? From a child, memory is, is very good. And if we're born again, then some of those things also should apply. As a child, we have to strengthen our memories. You understand? And I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the best, you know, memory in the sense like I would want to. It may surprise certain people. Yeah, some things... I do recall the Holy Spirit gives assistance where I do fall, you understand, or fall to, you understand, but it's really memory that's very, very important, you understand, because sometimes when you can remember something, you even get to learn it better. Sometimes ones are not remembering things because they like to look at it to be something different than what it is, or they don't like the way it is, so they're trying to change it or wish that it would be different, you see what I'm saying? So they don't remember it. They don't commit it to, to memory. It's almost like ones and ones like in, 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 in Rastafari going on feelings. I'm not going on feelings. I'm trying to avoid going on feelings. And in fact, one of the biggest struggles is not to go on feelings. People think, you know, oh, they listen to something, something make them feel good. It's not about whether it feels good. And people can't tell the difference between something that feels good or sounds good and is good and true. You understand what they said? The truth may be an offense. But it's not a sin. You understand? But now we live in a world where if somebody feels offended, that means you told them something that was untrue. But in reality, it's not so. But anyway, um, we lost this other part of the teaching here. Well, of, of that, dealing with the LOJ facts. You know, the FAQs, frequently asked um, questions, trying to answer and to address some of the frequently asked questions and inquiry about what we believe. You understand? Or the tenets of, of our faith. You understand? As line of Judah society and in general as Ethiopian Hebrews at home and abroad. So we drafted and we're still in the process of answering other questions and other aspects of the teachings in this series of um, tutorials. You understand? Just addressing point by point certain basics. And it's not my opinion, this is the teaching of his imperial majesty. I'm teaching the teachings of his imperial majesty. If you're saying that this is not the teachings of imperial majesty, then the best thing to do is to prove, you understand, that it's not. To bring forth your evidence. You understand? And, and this is what we've been doing a lot. We've been talking about what we think, say, Christ is or his imperial majesty's relationship to Christ instead of taking him at his word. And if we don't take him at his word, and even prove in our own hearts and minds as word is true, you understand? Then that's all fake and that's all folly. You understand? In itself. So let's go and break down, you understand? Break down some of the basics of our quote belief, end quote, you understand? In detail on the basis, you understand, of God and his history, just like the scriptures remind us. Bahu 
Aja Adonai Baruch Aba Yerushalayim Our divine heritage. Now, this is like the second time I think we're recording this because due to a technical, you could say, glitch, you understand, in the whole computerization recording apparatus, you understand, our former teaching on these subject matters has been lost. So we have.